my channel. So for today's video, we are going to be doing fall haul part two. A few weeks ago, we did fall haul part one. And a lot of you guys seem to really like that video, so I asked you on Instagram if you wanted a part two. So today, that's exactly what we're doing, but it's a little bit different because we're only going to be focusing on Forever 21. If you follow me on Instagram, then you know, okay, my love for Forever 21. Actually, no, I take that back. If you follow me since day one, period, then you'd know Forever 21 has just, it's the love of my life, okay? I'm sorry, Arnold, I'm sorry. My love for Forever 21 is just, it goes deep. It goes deep, and I'm really sad about all these bankrupt news because I feel like it's getting worse and worse and worse, and I don't know what I'm gonna do when Forever 21 is gone. I, I really don't. I heard in Canada, Forever 21 is extinct. You guys, that is crazy to me. So crazy. Thankfully, thank you to the fashion gods here in LA. Forever 21 is still thriving. I actually went to my local Forever 21 and I was like, how are you guys? What's going on? Are you thriving? Are you shining? What's going on? And they said they're fine and that there's no sign of them closing. So hopefully she was telling the truth because I just, uh, I love you Forever 21. So if you guys wanna see what I got from Forever 21 online and in stores, definitely keep on watching. And I'm also gonna tell you guys what I'm keeping, what I'm not keeping, what I'm returning. Also, if you're new to my channel, hi, hello. My name is Heart. Join our family by clicking the subscribe button down below. Also, give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy fashion videos, lifestyle videos, beauty videos. And comment down below and tell me what's your favorite fashion store to shop at? Like, what's your go-to store? Is it Forever 21? H&M, Zara, Windsor. I'm genuinely very curious, as you guys can tell. It's Forever 21 for me, okay? I love you, Forever 21. How many times am I gonna say that? Don't leave me! All right, so we're ready to begin. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and without further ado, let's do this. Da -da -da. Just an FYI, a lot of the things I got are mainly jackets and sweaters, mainly because it's starting, starting to get cold here in Los Angeles. I am basically prepping for winter time, and I'm doing air quotes because compared to like other places, LA winter time is, is not that cold, but for me personally, anything below 60s is cold for me because I'm always cold, so. So first things first, I wanna show you guys this jacket that I got. This I just purchased yesterday and I'm already obsessed. I really love how there's three things going on with this jacket. We have the baby pink Sherpa, faux fur leopard. We also have the denim jacket and it just feels really nice, like good quality. To me, this looks like an expensive jacket. I mean, low key was pretty expensive. It's 50 bucks. So that's pretty pricey for Forever 21, but if Urban Outfitters carry this, I guarantee you they would be selling this for like $150. So, with that said, she cute and I'm so excited to wear this. Realistically though, I probably won't even get to wear this till like next month or something because it's a really thick jacket. Mm, yeah, yeah, I'll wait. I'll wait till it's like very cold in LA to wear this. Next up, I got this jacket, and again, it's another Sherpa type of jacket, but I really love this one because I feel like I don't have this color in my closet. It's like a really nice bubblegummy pastel pink color. Really cozy, but this one, she's a little bit thinner than the first one I showed you guys. This one, I can definitely only wear during like winter winter time but this i can definitely get away with wearing this in the daytime it's lightweight it's not too thick not too thin and i really like it i'm so excited to wear it i do have one teeny tiny like complaint about this jacket i really wish that it came with side pockets like this because i like putting my hands in my pockets you know my jacket pockets very nice very chic it's just a different color from all the other jackets i own oh i also got so cute. I could just see myself wearing like a really high ponytail and just putting this on top. It's like a little Santa clip. It has like a clip underneath. So all you have to do is just like pop, pop it right in. And now moving on to my online purchases and I bought a lot of things, okay? So brace yourself. First up, we have these skinny jeans. This is actually my second pair. I purchased one of these a few weeks ago and I ended up really liking it. So I got my second pair, but this one is called the Fairfax high rise skinny. I really love how it has like frailings. I think that's what it's called. Like 
this distressed detail thingy going on around the kneecap area. I also really like the length of this. I'm only 4'11", so it's, <laughs> it's really difficult for me to find jeans that, you know, perfectly fit me. But these ones are like the perfect length. I don't have to get them hemmed or anything like that. I also got this. This is a cropped denim jacket with faux fur on it. I'm not gonna lie, I <laughs> was really shocked. I was like, what? What was I thinking? Why did I get this? But when I tried it on, I was like, Ooh, she cute. She really cute. I don't own anything like this that's like cropped with like faux fur on it. Also, the faux fur on this, whew, she's so soft, it's so soft. Mm, oh my God, it's starting to get dark. It's so weird because it's barely 4 p.m., you guys. It's like 3.50 p.m. And it's so dark already. Okay, so moving on to this camo cropped jacket, sweater, pullover, whatever you want to call it. I've been really into these types of jackets lately, mainly because they're just so easy to wear. I love how it covers like the neck area if it starts getting too cold. I love how it has a zipper in the front. It's a half zipper, so it doesn't go all the way through. And then here, there's like this big pocket. It has a zipper. Honestly, I don't ever think I'd put anything in here, but I really like how it looks. It's very aesthetically pleasing. Also, the bottom part of it, I like how you can customize it. You can wear it loose if you want to, or you can tighten it if you want it a little bit tighter. I've been really into these types of like jackets lately. I have like five of these from Forever 21 in like different colors. So please tell me if I should keep this or not. I'm really indecisive right now. So this is kind of like a blazer type dress. I really like the color of it. I like how it has like this little belt that you can tie around it. It cinches the waist, which makes it look really cute. I like the puffy sleeves, I think. I don't know. I'm still indecisive whether or not I like the puppy sleeves. Overall, I think it's cute, but I don't know. Let me know. Please let me know if I should keep this or not because I think she's cute, but also it's kind of like, hmm, there's something about it that I don't really like, but I can't pinpoint it out. So this denim jeans right here that I showed you guys earlier, I got it in a different color. I totally forgot. So this is basically just the lighter version of this one. What's weird is this one feels a little bit tighter on me, which kind of sucks. So I got the darker one in a size 26, but this one feels like a 24 to me. Okay, Forever 21, I don't hate you, but I'm just saying, stay consistent. Especially because they're the same exact jeans. I don't know why this feels a lot tighter, but it's okay, moving on. Next up, sweater weather. Doesn't this sweater just scream sweater weather to you? Honestly, if sweater weather had like description in the dictionary, this, this sweater would pop up. I really, really like this sweater, but my biggest complaint is that it's too thick. Let me break it down to you guys. If you want to be cozy, if you want to be warm, wear a thick jacket, wear a thick coat, but not as, not as, I, I just can't. I can't with thick sweaters. Sweaters to me are supposed to be chic and thin and breezy. If I was cold, I wouldn't gravitate towards like a thick sweater. I'm gonna gravitate towards a jacket. You know, I mean, she's still cute, so I'm still deciding whether or not I should keep it. You guys let me know down in the comment section below. I did get one similar to this from H&M, and that one's a little bit more lightweight, which I really love. So maybe, I don't know, maybe I'll keep it, maybe I won't. Please let me know okay, again. Here is a really good example of thin sweaters I love. So this right here is literally the same style as this brown sweater, but the only difference is this one is thick AF and you can't breathe when you're wearing this. So this right here are my absolute favorite. As you guys can see, it's a little bit cropped. I also really love how the long sleeves are kind of puffed out. If I can find this exact sweater in like 20 different colors, I will absolutely get it. I'm Pretty sure in my last haul, I got like a neon version of this, right? In a baby pink version of this, right? I think so. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. I also got this jacket, and this jacket really excites me. So it's cropped, it's Sherpa. I like the print of it. What would you guys call this? Tri tribal print? maybe of some sort. I also got it in large because again, I really like my jackets to be oversized. I also really like the big pockets in the front. I can just totally see myself wearing this and holding a cup of hot chocolate. 
you know, during date nights, and after that, we'll go to the movies. Speaking of buying things in different colors, I also got these boots, these knee-high boots, and you guys have actually seen me wear this on Instagram a few times. A lot of you seem to really like this. It's weird because some of you guys in my DMs were like, oh my god, I can't believe you got that from Forever 21. They definitely look very luxe, like something, I don't know, Aldo, or maybe like even Jeffrey Campbell would carry, but nope. Forever 21, and also I got them in black. These ones I haven't worn yet, but literally same exact thing, just different colors. I mean, they're $49.99, which again is a little pricey from Forever 21, but if these were being sold at Steve Madden or Aldo, Jeffrey Campbell, for sure these would be over $100, so. Mm -hmm. I hate myself as so much to take my credit cards away because I just found another pair of black boots. Why, why did I do that? Why did I do that? These are definitely going back. So let's see what kind of accessories I got. Oh, got me some pasties. Four dollars and you get three pasties. Love that for me. I got these hair clips for $4.99. You guys know I have an obsession for hair clips. So maybe I'll wear them tonight, actually. I'm going to an event tonight, so maybe these will come in handy. So this jacket, I'm actually not going to remove it out of the plastic bag because I am returning this. I got this online last week, but I saw this in store yesterday and I was like, hmm, let me just try it on and see what it's gonna look like. And I ended up not really liking it on me. So this one is definitely going back. Also, I got this and I think this one I, oh, actually, mm, never mind. I got this one from Pretty Little Thing. Oh, thumbs up this video if you guys want me to do a Pretty Little Thing fashion haul because that's another store I'm obsessed with right now. They were having like a 50% off the other day and I, I went crazy, so. Thumbs up this video if you want me to do that. That's pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And also don't forget to come back in a few days because I will have a brand new video for you guys. Thank you for watching. Have an amazing day and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Mwah. Mwah.